What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, last night, the Lakers, you know, it was funny because I saw an article that said Heat barely beat depleted Lakers, 96-94, right? But yet you didn't see, and people going to call me a hater for saying this, but I like fairness, and, and once again, I'm attacking the media, okay? But you didn't see people say Lakers beat up in the bubble a bunch of role players and Jimmy Butler in the finals. You see that? You see how they try to... See how these people who have agendas, they they have these, article, these articles and these titles that are meant to swing in a certain way. You know, if you're a LeBron hater, you, you know, you're going to say certain key phrases to disparage him. And if you're a LeBron extreme fanboy, then you're going to have a title like that. Now, the Lakers are without AD, and they're without Schroeder. Um, but last I checked, the Heat are not a super team, right? I think they have a sub-500 record. This is a team that theoretically... With LeBron, they should still be able to smash, right? No. The Lakers lost to a bunch of role players last night, okay? And um, technically, it's the second game in a row where they've been beaten up on by a bunch of role players. It wasn't really James Harden or Kyrie Irving doing the damage. It was the role players. And we see the same thing today. Well, last night, LeBron... Uh, started off relatively strong, but faded down the stretch, especially the fourth quarter of the game. He faded. Uh, you could question whether or not uh, Caruso should have taken that shot. But, you know, I don't even want to go down that road. We've always gone down this road with LeBron as far as should he take the last shot or, or should it go to someone else. I'm not even going to bring that up anymore. But all I'm going to say is this. These last couple of games have hurt LeBron James in the MVP department. Okay? Um, it has. Joel Embiid put up a sensational performance of the night. 50 points, 17 rebounds. He's averaging 30.5 points per game. And um, 11 rebounds. And right now, I think he's the leading MVP candidate. There are other guys out there, too. But right now, what he's doing is phenomenal. Okay? Um, the Lakers, I'm going to be honest with you. Man. Not only do they miss AD, and not only do they not miss Schroeder. I said this on my channel when it happened. Okay? This isn't me just bringing this up now. I said it when they first did it. I didn't understand why they got rid of JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard because the Lakers are now, they're missing a lot of interior athleticism and rebounding and, and, and uh, you know, just defensive, uh, for lack of a term, better term, acuity, I guess. They're missing that. Yes, Marcus Gasol uh, did win a Defensive Player of the Year award, but that was eight years ago. Okay, he's no longer that player. Yes, he's a guy that can shoot. Yes, on paper you're thinking, oh man, you know they upgraded offensively with Montrezl Harrell and and Gasol. But in today's NBA, you know, there's much more emphasis on perimeter scoring, correct? Which is what I always rail against. You know, I, I wish it was like how it was in the '80s and '90s and 2000, especially in the '90s and 2000s when there was a balance of all. Now, when you're a big, it's much more valuable for you to be a great rebounder and a defensive presence down low and athletic. Um, to be able to be effective defensively against some of these smaller guys on switches, correct? What does Marcus Saul get you on that? Nothing. Nada. So this is why 
I think the Lakers have taken a back seat a little bit defensively this year as opposed to last year. Um, and right now, look, the Lakers are going to go to the playoffs, okay? But right now, what the Lakers have to do is try to survive this stretch with 80 out of commission, okay? Um, they can win a championship without being the first seed. But you don't want to go so far down, you know? And uh, I just got to say this, too. I've always said that without AD, this team would not be a championship contending team. And right now we're seeing without AD, they are sort of like that team that LeBron played on in 2018-19, where they went 35 and 47. They're sort of a 500 team, maybe a little bit over that, because he did miss a lot of games through the injury that year, but maybe a 500 team without AD. I'm serious. I think they're like a 500 team without AD. I don't even think they're like a 51 team. So we'll see, man. Um, these are some games that they should win. Last night was a game the Lakers really should have won. I don't know what their record, their, I'm excuse, their schedule is coming up, but these types of games, especially the one against Miami, that's a game you should win. All right, they almost did. Um, but tell me what you guys think.